uh, St Anne's Catholic School. Afternoon everyone, um, I'm Dallas Witchman, Principal at St Anne's Catholic School. Um, I'll get straight to it because I just saw Te Waka walk, walk out of here and they're, they're basically our neighbours down the road so just probably brushing on some of the things and maybe reinforcing what they've said. I didn't catch it though. Um, our, one of our big ones... Brought kids with them and it was just, <laughs> it was totally awesome. <laughs> yeah. Whoops, should have brought some of my own. Yeah. Just saying no pressure. <laughs> I was just going to reinforce the, the swimming pool in a near, nearish area. I know that Linwood Wilson had been penciled in a swimming pool in that area and just a couple of experiences with uh, my, my students and um, just taken the year seven eights on camp and we had we had a quarter of them that had to wear life jackets just to keep them out of swimming and keep them above above water at the river that we were at, we were next to and I was just like what is this and just recently you know I've only just been at the school a year and a half and um, then also taking the rest of the school through their swimming lessons and just finding out how bad they actually were and a bit of discussion with all the children it's just that they don't go to the pools they walk everywhere in the neighborhood they scoot around everywhere in the neighborhood the closest pool was pioneer for them and so when asked i think we had three people three of the students out of 110 that are getting swimming lessons and others asked who goes regularly just got next to no hands and so it just it just freaked me out a bit and so i'm just here to reinforce i sort of said well who would go if you could scooter there and everyone puts a hand up as they do whether they're just doing it because everyone else was or not i don't know but they all said that they would love to go if they could get there and it was in scooter distance which the one in the plan was only about two k's away and some of them scooter further than that to school so um i just wanted to reinforce that the importance just ground level these children are missing out on lots of swimming sure we take them for a daily swimming experience of 30 minutes for two weeks but it just doesn't sustain it if they don't ever use it again to the next year and they do that two week swimming session again and you know we could commit to more but we're burning through the cash and bus bus rides to get there we get a little bit of funding for that um, but we don't often in a lower decile area get the money back again so we take a hit on money that we could be in other areas so just that constant battle sort of thing so just, just wanted to reinforce the importance of one being in the nearest area would be yeah, from our perspective, great. Yeah. Um, Pauline. Thank you. Just on that, can you tell us how much it costs you to get the kids to another pool to swim, including transport? I mean, how much do you pay per annum to, in your swimming? Each, each child it was... No, no, uh, all together from your school budget. Do you know? Yeah, well, I could say each child it was... We got the PFA to fund $20. Um, of it, I think it worked out at about $65 per child um, for the two weeks. Um, so we do ask the parents to pay and we get around about 50% pay. So um, we pay the other $45 of the 65 the PFA didn't pay. We, we ask the parents to pay it and if they don't we just front up sort of thing. So um, each bus ride, you get two buses that alternate or three depending on the size of your school or whatever. Um, each bus is about, about 150 to go there and back. Yeah, and so you get two of them each day. So that just how many kids long. go though? We get everybody, uh, everyone in the school to go. Yeah, roll. One hundred and ten. Okay, so that's a few amount, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we had looked at alternatives of stopping swimming, but we really thought we couldn't get away with it, and just for for our what the hit we take. But and then we yeah, constant argument. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Sarah, and then Anne. Thanks for that, Dallas. Um, you were saying that that's your school experience, but I know that you talked to all the other school principals and in the, in the past the school principals have submitted together. Is that the same experience for the other schools? So they do the two-week stint? That's um, how the majority of schools do it. Yeah, it just works right. easiest. Yeah. yeah. And then, because that takes a big chunk out of the day as well from the learning, because you've got the bus trip there and back. Yeah. The time I mean, waiting it's, while it's, some kids are doing the lessons. and It's a wee way away. So it, yeah, the time to get there and everything, it's a... Uh, and when you get there, they, they rotate you, so you have 30 minutes waiting. One group will go straight in, the other one waits. And we, obviously, we get them busy and reading the books and everything else. Mm -hmm. And then they swap over. So they have an hour there, the half an hour to drive a uh, bus there, and the other half going back. So it's a two-hour round trip daily for those, those days. And for those who aren't familiar with the current school systems where you've got years instead of, like, primers and, and stuff, year seven, eight is 10, 11, 12-year-olds. Yeah, four, one, and two. Um, yeah. All of our schools in our area have that because yeah. there's no intermediate in the yeah. area. 
Thank you. Hi, Dallas. Hi. If, uh, you, so three hundred dollars to get your kids to a pool and back. Daily, buses. daily for the buses. Yeah. Yeah. It's the transport. So if you um, didn't have to pay that sort of money in bus, you know, costs, would you bring your kids into into the town, for example, into the museum, into the art gallery? Would you make? Is it a barrier for you? Um, we, we, we just talked about this as stuff. It's probably our biggest barrier at our school because of parents, the, the money coming in is very hard. So um, going on any trips, we ask for a, we do sort of donation. We say, can you pay $3 of the whatever it costs? And so that is to help us out. And we keep it down low, they'll, they'll help us out. But if we say $10, it straight away just won't get done. And yeah, we do limit our trips because of it, yeah. Uh, we don't want to, but um, yeah, we have got plans to go for grants and all that kind of thing to help with bus trips. And we've got that plan for next year, actually. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you for that. Aaron? So I take it St Anne's has taken out its pool? Oh, we don't have a pool, no. So that's gone? Because they had one it back when I was a kid. Um, oh, You're not counting the, the creek down the back? Oh, God, how and that? the other one just round the corner he is... wasn't even born when that happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably wasn't, actually. Yeah. And then the other thing is the, um, the Bamford School. Do they still have their pool? And are you allowed to use it? Uh, I'm not actually sure. I'll, I'll look into that, though. Um, I suppose we were coming up the angle of I wasn't necessarily meaning to save us the money or anything. I was yep. actually solely coming from the purpose of after school, any time for these kids, there's opportunities mm. to develop their swimming. You know, two weeks here or there, whatever. Um, we're still going to still going to be squishy to try and get more. And even if we had a free pool, I'm just saying after yep. school, what do they do? They go home. That's yeah, about it. What Hit a park maybe. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking weekends, all of it. The students in the, who go to our school anyway, they, they get around by scootering and walking. Um, yeah, I just wanted a school shared pool because I know Bampton's what, 300 metres or so to walk and uh, it's got a really big pool. Well, they had one. They just yeah, a lot of schools um, close down out. their small schools at pools yeah. and of course they're, they're, they're um, unheated and uncovered. So it's no, no, no. Well, I learned to swim in a swimming pool. Yeah, but Madam, yeah. Madam Mayor, global warming, it should be warmer to swim. Did so. you? I, th I think I was there a little bit after you. Uh, before you. Before you. I mean before you. I mean before you. A long time before you. Probably before you were born, but there you go. All right, we've thank all you. established thank that I'm really old, so thank you yeah, very any, much. Any, and my support of that was yeah, more just for pastime stuff rather than trying to save us money. Thanks for bringing that up, but no, um, we, we will problem solve it's that. It's actually both. It, it's about getting access to swimming lessons, which is really um, concerning us as a city, because, you know, we, I mean, we, we live in a, an environment of water, and, you know, kids need to lo know how to swim. Um, and we are also concerned that that people, young kids, get a, a lifetime of experience of um, enjoying the water and enjoying the activities that go with um, a, a swimming pool that's more than just a place to go to learn to swim. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, and just really quickly wanted to support, um, last, last year the proposal came out for the Wollstone revitalisation or redevelopment, I'm not sure what they called it, um, but it just it looked amazing and just obviously we are right in Wollstone and it's sort of up and down, you don't know whether it's going to all pick up and become a vibrant place again or you know and then the post office leaves and everyone gets all depressed because everything's going away from Wollstone and the bank goes and then New World comes back. Um, anyway, we were just sort of, it's that sort of area that we we're hoping would pick up like the tannery has, which is mm. you know, 500 metres down the road, um, making things safer. We also loved the plan because it, it had a little bit of a speed um, reduction. And since I've been at the school, there's been quite a few crashes around uh, when the children are leaving and things. And it has really worried me. And it solved two of our problems at once. You know, it made the area a nice area to be in. Two, it made it a bit safer for our children. Um, some of our parents would be like, oh, 30 k's an hour, I'll we'll never get to work. And so I sort of did the mathematics with the calculator with them and showed them, look, that's 12 seconds, it will slow you down to get to work or whatever. Um, but we had a lot of support for it and speaking on behalf of my community, I'm constantly talking with parents at the gate and everything else. They're all like, oh, this road's horrible, right, right, right. Um, and the, the, the amount of feedback I get is all just, they would love to see that area just a little bit safer. Yep. So from like, supporting property to Waka, no, to Waka, no doubt they said similar things. Just any anything to help with safety around our roads would be appreciated. Lovely. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for M yours. Much appreciated. Uh, next is uh, now is it? Oh, I can't pronounce it. Is it Dana? <laughs>